Well, good morning everyone on this beautiful sunny day. I'm going out for lunch today, so we're going to have a, a light breakfast. A couple of poached eggs on toast. And of course, some tomato ketchup. We're just going to sit here and enjoy the weather. We're coming into a place now called Betang Curia, Villa Historica. It's the first uh, town settlement in Futaventura. And we're going to go for some lunch. It's a really beautiful town. We we came here a few days ago. A nice little look around it and see what we come across. This is an old water wheel. And like you can see here, it would have probably been dragged around by a, a donkey or a horse or some sort to draw out water for the village. How beautiful is that? There's a lot of historical information over here by all accounts. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> That's amazing. That's a lot of history. Yeah, a lot of history. That's pretty cool. We found a place to eat called Cafe Garden Tapas Bar. La Sombra. Look how pretty this is. Cool, nicely shaded and oh it's fantastic and it's open. That's cool. So this is we are, we got the terrace. Oh my live music over there. And we're sitting here with a lovely view. I'm in heaven. We've ordered a Wagyu burger. Just have a look at the salad here. It's very black at the top, but that's how they've done it. Oh that looks good, right? That looks good. Oh looking forward to this one. Well, we've had our lunch. And now we're just looking around this old village, which is beautiful. Got the stunning views as well. And it's not too hot today, it's only probably about 21, 22, which is quite nice. It's pleasant to walk around in. This is where we are right now. I think this is like a, a little town square. We're walking out of the village now, there's the local toilets. Those that, you know, want to know if there was toilets. They've got lots of flowers. Beautiful. Got a restaurant grill there. I reckon they do nice steaks in there. But I'm just not hungry at the moment. Something about a palm tree and it just makes you feel like you're on holiday. Anyway, we're going to be nearly back at our car soon. Is it me or does this dog look like an alpaca? Hello. You friendly? Friendly? Yeah. Hello. How are you? Are you lovely? You do, don't you? How cute is that? It's five o'clock and it's just, the sun's getting hazy now so the heat's just starting to drop and Sue thought let's go for a geocache walk locally. So we'll probably be out for a couple of hours maybe kind of find it but it gets us out and walking so let's see where we go. We're walking through a little village, there's a bar here on our right which we haven't yet been to, might do on the way back and uh, yeah, probably only about 20 minutes into our walk. It's so hot though. Cute little bar. No one's in it yet. We're going this way. As we're going past, we've just got some rock balance in there. Look at that. Perfectly balanced. They do it all over the place. Which is amazing they stay as balanced as they do with this wind, but they do. Very clever. Okay, we're leaving the village of Trichivetta. Uh, on the way to the airport, <laughs> not quite. Hopefully at this roundabout up here, super zoom, we're going to be going left. At some point we'll tie in with our geocache. We've turned left now, and uh, this is the road over there. Just admiring all the rocks and the fence. Not much out here as you can see. A little bit desolate, but I don't mind it being empty. Still quite warm now back on the road but still saying about two kilometers and 
I'm just looking up there, look at the size of that mountain. It better not be up there. Volcano. Hmm. Let's hope not. Let's hope it's more on the ground. This is very sad that even in this beautiful part of the world as you're walking along you see nothing but disused cans of beer, cigarette lighters or cigarette packets. You know, there's a can of beer. And it's just uh, keeps repeating itself as it goes along. As you can see, we're getting close to that volcano. I know it's going to be out there. Hold up, cigarette, cigarette packet. I just know it's going to be out there. We're going to die. Come off road. What surprise! Look where we're heading. 928 meters. It could be up there. It could really be up there. Um, but if it's too steep, then no. But we'll see. <laughs> Guess what? It's up that flipping mountain volcano and the sun is going down the sun is almost gone so i'm just gonna have a look at the terrain see if it will take very long to get up there looks like it will but come this far so we'll see how we do so the closer you get to this volcano the rockier it becomes so if we don't roll off the thing and fall down we'll sprain our ankle going up there or break it um it's, it's up there I knew it was. I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna kill her. It's not that flipping volcano. So you get the steeper it is. Ooh. And uh, the more stupid you think. You know, you hear about these idiots, don't you, going up mountains in the dark. Oh, so we got walking shoes on. There's that. We're still going up. I'm actually sweating and I'm just in a, in a wife beater's vest. Whew. About a third of the way up. Whew. What a view though. Oh. Watch where I'm standing because it's quite at an angle. Whew. That's where we're staying over there, that village. Over there. Whew. We're going up there. About halfway up now. And the only thing is you have to be careful because you've got rocks, but this gravel just wants to slide. Ah. We're getting there. I'm waiting on where they're calling it because as you can see now, we're getting steep. It's getting steeper and steeper. <sighs> I don't know. Maybe a few more steps. Tree on our feet and our hands to get up here. And a bit of a rock mass. Should be able to get up to the top now. <sighs> I think we're rolled down. We've come up right now, right up. But I think we're beat because there's all this rock now. Go up, it just keeps going up this. This thing, it's quite high up, as you can see our view. <sighs> but I'm just tempted to keep going. <sighs> Got this far, you know. <sighs> I've decided to go on. Oh, I'm nearly there. I'm nearly at the top. <sighs> I don't know where, whether the air is getting thinner or what, but man, this is hard work. Whew. I've done it. I'm at the top. <sighs> Burnt some calories doing that too. Oh, shattered. Ah, this is my view. <sighs> right. Somewhere up here, it's a geocache, and you know, you know it's going to be at the furthest point over there. Let's go and find it. I am 100 meters away. You know it's up there. Oh, ain't gonna make this easy, are they? But watch where I'm stepping on the last few steps. Oh, it's a lot nicer when you're flat. Anyway, 100 meters away, if that now. Okay, I think it's up there. Not happy, are they? Gotta make me climb even more. The very top of this mountain, and there's poo up here. So obviously goats come up here. And this geocache should be up here somewhere. Where? I do not know. I thought it had just made it there. Let's see if we can find it. It should be here. I'm right at the very top and I cannot find it. Definitely getting dark now. <laughs> I have to say this is very disappointing, but the GPS says it's here and it's not. I've looked everywhere, I've literally climbed over everything and I cannot see it anywhere. And it's getting so dark now. I have to come down, so I'm afraid it's not going to happen. I tried my best. Well, that's the hardest geocache ever, and sadly it looks like someone's moved it. Because I searched every rock, nook and cranny. So, 
for a day for those that have done it. Well done. But at least I got the top of the mountain. That's quite an achievement. Woohoo! Now to get back down safely. Literally going on our hands and knees down because well it's just too steep and we're full otherwise so we're just gonna slide down. Nearly down, but it's not easy. We're literally sliding all the way down. Don't mind it being dark once we're flat. Just gotta get off this rock. <laughs> Mountain, volcano, whatever we're calling it. Pretty much down, and here she comes, nearly there. Tell you what, on reflection, probably not a good idea going up mountain when it's getting dark, but there we go. We were as safe as we can be. We've took a long time coming down to make sure we weren't overestimating the steepness of it. So we've done what we can, but that was probably not a good idea. Well, I must say it's good to be down on the flat-ish. We're using our torches now to find our, find our way home. Uh, but we'll be on a, a sort of a path in a minute. So at the moment, it's a little bit up and down, but it's not too bad. About 50 minutes and we'll be home. We found the road now, <laughs> which we're on for about a mile and a bit, and then another mile on another road and we're back. Believe it or not, this is a road. It's more like a grit path, but yeah, it is a road. And uh, for those that are worried, we're, we're fine. About a mile, mile and a half from our villa. It's all flat now, it's all easy. Nice and lit up. Just walking past villas. It was lit up. That light turned itself off. But just walking past villas now and we're all good. So we're walking through these lanes. We've set all the dogs off. Honey, we're only walking. <laughs> oh, makes you laugh, doesn't it? Oh. Bless them. Well... It's getting on for eight o'clock, but we're absolutely boiling. And the reason because we're working, working, we're walking on like a, um, tarmac. yeah, tarmac. That's what I'm looking for, tarmac road. And the heat is just <sighs> bouncing off. It contains a lot of heat. But we're about 10 minutes from our villa now. It's looking forward to a drink, that's for sure. This is someone's garden. Look at all these solar lights. There's just thousands of them. Zoom in a bit more. Thousands and thousands. So cool. We are now 200 metres from our villa, if our GPS is correct. And although this is a path, it looks more like a... Well, it just looks more like ground that we've been walking on all day. But anyway, 200 metres and we should be home. That's it, we've made it. We're just walking up the drive now. Although, it's quite a long drive. Our villa is just up there. You can just see the lights. But it's not far. The last little bit always seems the hardest, but I've got to say, I don't actually feel tired from it, which I'm quite fortunate about. Maybe it's just because it's warmer. I don't know. Anyway, be home in two minutes. We have done it. Here's our gates. Oh, we'll be back. And there's our villa. Ah, oh, there's our car. Oh, definitely looking forward to a drink. And see everyone. Oh, look at that. Someone's opening the door for us because they knew we were coming. How's that? How's that for service, eh? Live location, eh? <laughs>